Hello everyone, I want to show you PowerPoint tricks which you, at least some of them, might not be aware of and they can greatly improve your workflow in PowerPoint. In this video I will show you 5 ninja PowerPoint tricks in 5 minutes. Let's not waste any time and get started. And please stay tuned to the end of the video because I wanted to share a cool bonus with you afterwards. Let us start with the first ninja tip which will be aligning objects equally. You can have several objects on a slide, but you would like to align them in a proper order. Please select all objects, go to drawing tools and you will find the align tab. Now opening up the align tab allows you to choose several align options. You should open up PowerPoint and click around with them, but the most important thing is here to remember about align to slide or align to selected objects. Let's say for example, I want to distribute them vertically. Now by having align selected objects, they will align as this, but if I would select them, click align, go align to slide and now distribute them vertically, they will distribute along the slide. Normally when you have presentations and you would like for example those objects to be aligned equally, to have equal spacing between this object, you would select all the objects, you would select also this object, have selected align selected objects and they will align between the most left object and the most right object. Let me select align, distribute horizontally, now once again align, align middle and we have a perfect alignment between the objects. Ninja tip number two, making pictures even. You can have for example a variety of pictures in your presentations, let's say I have six pictures. I want to do something with them but each one of these pictures looks different. I go to picture tools, go to something called picture layout and I will select a layout here. Selecting a layout is creating a smart art. I can click on the smart art itself. You can right click on it, group, ungroup it, you have a group. You can ungroup it once again and you have all objects separate. Now I will delete the text boxes because PowerPoint is adding also text boxes and I am free to roam with those images. I could go for example to drawing tools, edit shape, change shape and change them all to a rectangle. Now I could of course align other elements like the shape outline, get rid of it and do other editing but I would already have equal images. Ninja tip number 3, cutting out backgrounds. You can go to picture tools once you select a picture you've inserted into PowerPoint and on the far left side you have remove background. Clicking remove background takes you to this place where everything which is on pink here selected will be deleted. Now I want to get rid of the blue background but I still want the Facebook icon to be visible of course. So I need to make this selection bigger and if you for example would like to stay with this blue on the right, you select mark areas to keep. Well this is a tool, it's not perfect but by marking the areas to keep you can mark as long as you get your desired effect. As you see PowerPoint is sometimes going crazy so you need to select mark areas to remove and mark those areas again. Now. I would get rid of the background by selecting keep changes. Let's go to our tip number four, merging or subtracting objects. There is an option for that but many people in PowerPoint don't use it. You can select objects, let's say for example I select the circle and the object behind it. I go to drawing tools and I have my merge shapes option. This allows me to union, combine, fragment, intersect or subtract them. The order of the selection is very important because as you can see now I have subtracted the rectangle in the background but if I would select first the rectangle and secondly the circle, going to merge shapes, selecting subtract will do the opposite because, because the last item selected is subtracting from the previous selected. Let's go to the last tip of our video. You can achieve some interesting effects in PowerPoint by filling text not only with color but also with images. Let me select the text right click on it, go to format shape. I have here shape options which is about this shape around here and text options which apply to the text inside. In the text options in the first tab we have our fill and outline. You can select here the type of fill, solid fill, gradient fill and something very important picture or texture fill. That's something really great because we can select a file and fill our text with an image. For example, I could select this texture. If it's a bit too big, you can tile it like that. Then you can offset it around to achieve the effect you want. These are the tips I wanted to share you in this video. Before you leave this video, I wanted to share with you 
a heavy discount for my PowerPoint course. This special link allows you to enroll in my course for just 5 bucks. I think this is a really great opportunity to learn something in PowerPoint and to support my channel. If you are interested, you can click in the middle of the screen. These were 5 ninja PowerPoint tricks in 5 minutes. My name is Andrzej Pach, I hope you did like the video and you had much fun watching it.